This DVD explains the five different kinds of water that Enagic Level Up systems produce and the various ways each type of water can be used in your everyday life. As Enagic's president and founder, Hiro Nario Shiro maintains, all of Enagic's products, including the world famous Leveluck SD501 system, are manufactured in Osaka, Japan, where the Japanese government enforces a strict code of guidelines to ensure that each and every product is produced under the highest quality of standards. The number one goal at Enagic is to create optimally built water systems to produce safe and clean water for everybody in the world to enjoy. Part one of this section will explain the applications of five types of water produced by Enagic's products. In part two, a distributor from Enagic USA will demonstrate the science of Kangen water. While achieving and realizing true health, one must be very aware of the water they consume and the profound effects that the contents of that water has on your mind, body, and spirit. But it is not just the water we drink. It's also the water we use in our various everyday environments, such as feeding plants or cleaning up around the house. This is why we are so committed to making all these types of healthy water solutions available worldwide. Here's what Mr. Kawabata, the service manager from Okinawa office, had to say about drinking Kangen water. Because the way of drinking Kangen water is different for each person, I believe that each person must, by trial and error and with continued effort, devise and find their own way of drinking Kangen water in order to obtain the best results that fits each person's individuality. Kangen water. Kangen water comes out of the white hose when you select one of the three buttons that says Kangen. Kangen water comes in three different pH levels, 8.5, 9.0, and 9.5. Please note that it is always recommended that if you have never had Kangen water before, Start from pH 8.5 and gradually go up to pH 9.5 as your body gets used to the change. Kangen water is not just something you drink to maintain your health. It also yields amazing results when used with acidic foods and beverages, like coffee to get rid of its bitter qualities, or whiskey to smoothen the taste. Kangen water physically draws out the flavor when soaking or cooking foods which means you will require less seasonings like salt and other unhealthy flavor boosters, which are typically used in excess. Kangen water is the key to optimal health, and having access to it on a regular basis is something everybody deserves. Clean water. Freshly produced clean water will come through the white hose when you select clean water button. Clean water is water that is free of chlorine, rust, and other harmful and unwanted substances. Clean water is safe and is especially effective when used for taking medicines and adding to baby formula. Acidic water. Acidic water also passes through the white hose when you select the acidic water button. Acidic water, or beauty water, is especially useful for cleansing and removing unwelcome elements. When sprayed on the skin, acidic water helps the skin surface remain smooth and clean as it closes pores and tightens the skin. Acidic water allows you to avoid using abrasive materials to effectively polish items like eyeglasses and certain jewelry. It has also been discovered that cooking pasta with acidic water is exceptionally effective for achieving a perfect al dente pasta dish. Strong Kangen Water. Strong Kangen Water comes out of the white hose when you select the strong acidic button. Strong Kangen Water is a very powerful and environmentally safe alternative to many cleaning supplies 
while it is also very efficient when used to soak fruits and vegetables, as it dissolves and removes impurities out and enhances the natural taste as if it was just picked from the vine. Strong Acidic Water Strong acidic water will come out of the gray hose when you select the strong acidic button. Strong acidic water is recommended for washing hands and cleaning cookware that are exposed to various bacteria while cooking and cleaning. It's the natural sanitizer. Demonstration. It is Enagic's goal to provide a healthy, invigorating, and economical solution to anybody who wants to improve their lives with Kangen water. In part two of this DVD, an Enagic USA distributor will explain the science behind the power of Kangen water. Okay, so we're, go we're going to uh, measure the oxidation or anti-oxidation level of different beverages that I'm sure many of you are currently drinking. We're gonna use 7-Up, Gatorade, two brands of bottled water, tap water, and our Kangen water. And what we use to measure that is what we call an ORP meter. And this meter will show us the measurement in millivolts. So anything that measures as a positive millivolt reading means that it is oxidizing, which is causing damage, which is aging, aging you internally. Anything that measures a negative millivolt reading means that it is an antioxidant. And you're gonna see how it is that our Kangen water uh, is a natural antioxidant water. So for example, here we have uh, our ORP meter right now. We're going to turn it on. We're going to put it in the 7-Up and you can see that that measures a positive millivolt reading of about 288 and rising. We put that in Gatorade and you can see, see again that it is a positive 277 and going up. We put it in bottled water, and it's at 285 and going up. The other bottled water, 264 and going up. We put it in tap water, it's about 255. Now we put in kangen water, and you can see that it became a negative number. In fact, negative 340. Okay, so again, our Kangen water is a natural antioxidant water, natural anti-aging water, something that you want to make sure that you're drinking every single day. Another very important property of Kangen water is its alkalinity. Remember, when we talked about how disease cannot live in an alkalized body, and when your body is acidic, it will thrive. So what, what we want to really emphasize is for you to be looking at what you're doing to neutralize the acidity, the acidity that's happening inside of our bodies that's constantly damaging healthy cells and compromising our health. So once you see the level of acidity or alkalinity of these different beverages, you you are going to truly appreciate why it is that you want to be drinking Kangen water every single day. So what we have here again that we're measuring the uh, level of acidity or alkalinity is the 7-Up. We have Gatorade, two brands of bottled water, tap water, and our Kangen water. And what, we, what we're going to use is a standard pH tester, and we're going to put these drops into each of these liquids. And what we're looking to do is actually measure or compare to uh, certain colors. Now this is a color chart and we're looking at this part of the chart right up here, where green is neutral. Anything this way of the green is what we call acidic. This is what you want to avoid because our bodies are already very acidic and that's why we're uh, compromising our health. What we want to do is stay over here on the alkaline side and, and of course, optimally uh, over on, on this end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put several of these drops in each of these liquids and they will begin to turn colors. So let's start with this 7-Up. I'm just going to put like three or four drops into each of these. And uh, you'll, see them, you'll see the liquid start to turn colors. And into the bottled water, into the tap water, and into our kangen water. Okay. And we can see, looking at our 7-Up, you can see that this beverage is very acidic. 
And that applies to whether you're drinking 7-Up or Sprite or Colas or Root Beer or Dr. Pepper, any of those. Here's the Gatorade. Again, a very acidic beverage. And how many people do you know that are drinking these on a regular basis and don't even realize how acidic it is? And worse yet, how many people do you know that are giving it to children? And they, that needs to stop. Okay, here's the uh, bottled water. As you can see, again, very acidic. Here's the other brand of bottled water. And we just use Dasani and Aquafina uh, as two of the brands because they are Pepsi-Cola and Coca-Cola uh, products, which makes them two of the top-selling bottled waters. Understand that this is pretty much how uh, a lot of the bottled waters uh, will test. And here's our uh, tap water. You can see that it's a little bit on the alkaline side. And most municipal waters will usually be anywhere from uh, slightly acidic to slightly alkaline because they are mandated to actually, actual, uh, to actually alkalize the uh, municipal water in order to preserve the pipes because the acidity will actually ruin the pipes. And Here's our Kangen water, and you can see that this is the optimum level of alkalinity that you want to be drinking, is, is the uh, uh, Kangen water, right? Okay. Now, here's a very important thing that I really want people to see, and uh, I, I realize that um, if you've never seen this demonstration, you don't really uh, get the impact until you catch a visual of it in the way that I'm going to show you right now. Now. We have our tap water. You can see that it's slightly blue. When you're drinking Kangen water, you can start to really affect the level of alkalinity of your body. Here's our bottled water. Watch what happens when I pour Kangen water. See that? Here's the other bottled water. We pour the Kangen water. So imagine that now you, you're, all of the acidity that's inside of your body, the, the uh, accumulated acidic waste, all of a sudden being alkalized or being flushed out. Now here's a very important thing to pay close attention to. Watch what happens to Gatorade and to 7-Up. You can see that the Gatorade is still acidic. That is the high level of acidity of this beverage. And the same thing with the 7-Up. You can see that it is highly acidic. Literally, these two be beverages, they are so acidic that you would need, for the Gatorade, about 24 glasses of alkaline water to neutralize one glass of this beverage. And with the 7-Up, literally, you're going to need 32 glasses of alkaline water to neutralize one glass of 7-Up. That's how acidic these beverages are. Now, if this part of the demonstration hasn't gotten enough of your attention, let me show you how very, very acidic these beverages are. This is already diluted 7-Up. And what I'm going to do is pick up right here where we have alkalized this liquid and just pour a little bit of that and you can see that again we are making these acidic with just a, literally a sip of this very acidic beverage. Now seeing this demonstration is going to emphasize to you the necessity to get off of these kinds of beverages and stop putting them into our bodies and into the bodies of our family and, our, and especially our children and get back over here, alkalize your body because remember, disease and illness cannot live in an alkalized environment and it will thrive when your body is acidic. Drink Kangen water every day. Okay, now what we want to test for is the chlorine. And again, this is really important because people need to understand what they are putting into their bodies. And sometimes when you don't get uh, a demonstration that gives you the visual of what this demonstration is going to give you, we don't really know what we're putting into our bodies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test for chlorine in Kangen water and the, your tap water. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of tap water in here and some Kangen water in here. And then what I want to do is I'm going to use a chlorine tester, a standard chlorine tester, and we're, we're looking to match up some colors right here. So when I put the drops into the water, the waters will turn uh, different colors 
uh, uh, different shades of yellow based on how much chlorine is in the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a few drops into the tap water first here, and then into the Kangen water on this side, and then just give it a, a little stir here, and then a little stir here, and you can see what's happening to the water with the, uh, the tap water, that it's starting to turn yellow as opposed to the Kangen water where it is not turning colors at all. So right now, the uh, tap water is showing uh, chlorine content. And what I'm gonna do uh, is give you a quick demonstration, uh, again, something that's going to open your eyes as to what we're really doing, because I know a lot of people buy fruits and vegetables, and then what do we do? We go home and we wash it with our tap water. Now right here you can see that that tap water has already shown some chlorine content. And when we take fruits and vegetables and we wash it with tap water, here's what we're really doing. I'm just gonna put some of this, the uh, chopped onions into this water. Again, stir it up just a little bit. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that water where I put the onions, put it in here. And now you can see that that water that was yellow showing the chlorine content is now clear. What does that demonstrate? It demonstrates that in the process of washing our fruit or vegetable, we've basically caused that fruit or vegetable to absorb the chlorine.